Grandpa Newby reporting for duty, and I'm about to say something that sounds like blasphemy to my own ears. The KV inhibitor is likely the best sniper in Modern Warfare 3. Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. So how can I say that? Well, I'll get to that in a second, but first let's look at the configuration that I use. Got to go with the Morristot sight. It gives a 10% decrease in ADS speed and 12% increase in ADS movement speed. It puts a sniper rifle at 2.8 meters per second, bouncing side to side, back and forward. And while we're here, let's look at the damage. 294 to the head, 210 to the upper torso, one shot kills to both, and I, Grandpa tends to hit in the upper torso or the head. Lower torso, 140. That's where the sniper falls back a little bit. And the upper legs is 140. The target will flinch at 1.5 newtons, a solid punch. The range is excellent for the KV inhibitor. 30.5 meter effective range with a minimum damage range of 61 meters. Fire rate is fantastic. Now this is theoretical, 130.4. But the key is there's no rechamber speed. You just pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger until you're out of ammo in the clip and then slap a new one in there. Recoil is outstanding for a sniper. 28.4 degrees per second on the gun kick. Horizontal 19.91. Vertical is 30.73 degrees per second. It's not a hip fire machine so we won't even go into that. And the flinch resistance I intentionally left it at 1. Mobility again is outstanding at 4.8 meters per second. Movement speed speed with a sprint speed of 5.6 meters per second and we've already looked at the ADS movement speed the Moore's dot is what kicks that one up for us. ADS speed is excellent at 439 milliseconds and it's quick to reload. Sprint to fire speed is something to stop the presses over at 186 milliseconds. For a sniper 186 milliseconds. The Ivanov would stop. That helps with the ADS speed, the sprint speed, and the movement speed. They're composite numbers. It hurts the recoil, but the recoil is already outstanding, and you'll see that in the gameplay. The broadside factory grip. See a trend developing? ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, 18%. That's the reason I didn't go with the Brace LS grip for this build, which would have helped the flinch resistance by 50%. If I can get the weapon up fast, get to firing, then I'm not going to be flinching because the enemy's going to be twitching. Grandpa always goes with the five round magazine on snipers for the benefits, the mobility and the handling benefits. And the SL Skeletor, Skeletor, dad joke getting old grip helps a little bit with the recoil but again i'm piling on with ads speed and sprint to fire speed now grandpa always says there are four things that i tune for four and a half if you count recoil sometimes but recoil usually doesn't bother grandpa range ads movement speed ads speed and sprint to fire speed we have stacked the sniper weapon high with ads movement speed ads speed sprint to fire speed and we've gotten some mobility so let's take this weapon, this KV inhibitor, onto the field of honor, see how it did for Grandpa, see what it did to the enemy, compare it to the XRK Stalker, and see why Grandpa has said this might be the best sniper in the game. Before we get too deep into it, let's take a look at the numbers. Comparing the inhibitor to the Stalker, I was going to cheekily compare it to the KVD Enforcer, but it's a sniper, not a marksman rifle. 55.4 greater fire rate, bullet velocity is higher, and there's no rechamber re speed for the inhibitor, which is a huge advantage. Headshot damage and upper torso, huge advantages for the inhibitor, as is the uh, minimum damage range. The only place, and it's significant, where the XRK Stalker is better in rates, damage, and ranges is in the lower torso. It's a one-shot kill. For the XRK Stalker, not a one-shot kill for the inhibitor. But if you tend to hit high like I do, then it's not going to be an issue. So, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm shocked, as a matter of fact. I've always thumbed my nose uh, at the inhibitor as not a true sniper, as more of a marksman rifle. And it packs a punch, and it can throw that punch a very long distance. 
Now let's look at recoil and performance. Once again, in a huge way, the inhibitor wins in recoil. Now, hip fire, let's give that to the stalker. But if you're out there hip firing with a sniper and you don't have aftermarket steroids, <laughs> you're in trouble. Reload quickness, significant to the stalker. Aim down sight about the same, but look at sprint to fire. I mean, my gosh, the stalker just absolutely demolishes the XR. I say stalker. I meant the inhibitor absolutely demolishes the stalker in sprint to fire. So, I mean, look at all that green and all the highlighted green on there. And it'll tell you, well, really quickly combined with the previous chart, which of these two is a better sniper? Look how fast I could shoot Dr. Doom there. So we're on rust. I'm playing 6v6, which I don't really like to play that much because... I like to play the objectives. My teammates don't always. When I get on a team where the people do, then that's heaven for grandpa. The enemy holds two objectives. Now, just because you're running a sniper doesn't excuse you from hitting the objectives. I know a lot of sniper players do not play objectives at all. Grandpa does. And I'm not saying everyone, so don't get your ruffles feathered there in, in a twiddle. But look how the inhibitor it just absolutely deletes people. And the thing that I found challenging in terms of the ergonometrics of the inhibitor was not treating it like a bolt-action sniper. Remembering that I had more than one shot, like right there. Three shots, no rechambering. A lot of times I would do a quick scope and drop it like I do because you have time to drop it looks kind of cool and reload rechamber but you don't have to do that with the inhibitor you have another shot like right there so I must have hit him in the lower torso then I hit him in the upper torso or anywhere on the body because at that point he just needed one more shot there it goes again once I got that in my brain and grandpa's addled brain the inhibitor became much more deadly weapon for me because I realize that there are second chances with sniper rifles so I'm trying to encourage my team through my performance to get on the objectives I should be covering for them. Instead, I'm having to capture them all. Of course, bad mouth in your team is never something to get used to. See, I had multiple shots there. I, I just kept firing, and I knew I was close to hitting them. Got the objective. Going for B. We're still within the realm of possibility of win winning, but we're triple capped right now, and I don't have any help. Here comes somebody, and but he doesn't stand on B. You know, for those of you who say, well, I get many captures in a game, but you just run through the objective because that counts as a capture when somebody is really capturing it, shame on you. You should put your, put your foot on the capture, leave it there, and help somebody capture the objective because it happens a lot quicker that guy there could run faster than normal grandpa's going for the there he is again the grandpa's going for the next objective you see he has multiple shots there which gives you an opportunity to miss multiple times that was an accident I, I, I don't like that spot there So, I mean, there is nobody trying to cap on our team. Now, they're, you, you can have a look. Guys are looking over B, but they're not standing on B. I mean, we're on the whole other half of the map from C D C B. Just had a guy over at B. Oh, come on. Hit something. My Lord. There was one hit, four misses. Strike four? No, actually only three strikes. 
there's a hit. If you think I'm playing the inhibitor like an SMG, you'd be right. Same style, almost, that I use. Because I like aggression. Except for from my wife. From Grandma Newbie, no aggression whatsoever. And none towards her, by the way. What's, who, who's on that? We got the Joker or the Riddler or whatever sitting on her. That guy's been annoying. And I felt like I had captured a lot of objectives. It was just like impossible that we were behind. What, what is going on? See, I had the pipper right on that boy. And it showed as a miss. He's dead. So we had guys that were willing to drag their feet through the objective, but hardly anybody that wanted to capture them with me. There were a couple that ended up being pretty good. That guy's just going for kills too. I mean, you could see that status was yellow. That somebody, an enemy, was standing on the thing. There's the Joker or Riddler again. And we lose. Grandpa got 11 caps. We had a guy with 26 kills, zero caps. He didn't even drag his foot through. 18 kills, three caps. How can you avoid capturing anything? I mean, by purely by accident, you think somebody would cap. So overall, bad game, I guess. Good game for the inhibitor. The inhibitor performed well on Rust, but now we're taking it into a little more close-knit society known as shipment. Now, for you guys that like to run around and get kills, you do as many as you can because this is team deathmatch. This is the only place where KD should count. I prefer a composite number that mixes kills, deaths, and objectives. That would be much more fair to the people that actually play the game versus people that run around the corners and shoot people, you know, just for kills. Grandpa always tries to be at the top of the lobby and kill confirmed in terms of tags, gain, tags denied. The most time on the hard point. There's a quick triple kill for the inhibitor. It's just a fast weapon. I mean, it is powerful. And the most DOM points captured for Grandpa. Let me finish that previous thought. But sprint to fire, ADS speed, it's nearly unbeatable, especially if somebody's coming straight on or they're running away from you. I mean, the weapon farms the enemy. All right, let's see the accuracy. There, we got it. What is this guy doing? About to die. Look at that. Look how fast he's running. <laughs> Pull out the Renetta and give him a few love taps. Oops. All right, you can squat over and sniff your feet, but somebody with a sniper is going to... Explode your melon. That guy, I don't know where he was going. But I think he's Elvis. He's the king. Oh, there's a miss. There's Elvis. Or previous Elvis. Starting to build up a decent lead. I tend to feel guilty when I'm using a gun that's not the one I'm most skilled at on Team Deathmatch because. There, see? Because I want, want the team to win. All right, bonus game after the F4 pops its shoot on landing roll. Just don't stand there, guy. It's going to be another shipment map. Grandpa's pretty happy with the lead here. He can run around. Jump down, turn down. Turn around. But the inhibitor, yes. I got to begrudgingly admit it because I love the Stalker. I love the SPX-80. If you just want to win a game, 
the inhibitor, I think. There we go. See, there was a hip shot from Grandpa, the inhibitor. The inhibitor is the best sniper in the game. The best weapon that has sniper associated with its name. And there's a win. Yay us. Anyway, if you like this, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Comment on your inhibitor stories. Subscribing helps me, helps the family. Peace.